Hi guys, Michelle here. Today we are going to talk about the Radio Popper PX system. The nice thing about the Radio Popper PX system is that you can shoot up to 1 8,000th of a second. Shooting at higher speed sync will allow you to shoot at apertures of 2.8 or 1.4, which will actually give you that buttery background goodness. When you buy the Radio Popper PX system, you can get a receiver and a transmitter. When you first get the transmitter, you actually get an antenna that sticks out towards you. What we found while shooting, we changed the antenna to these flat kinds because the original antenna just got in the way. So we bought extra antennas, switched it out, and it actually works pretty well. So that's why they look the same. The number one thing, the difference between the two, and how you can tell, is that the receiver will have a hole in the back. The nice thing about these PX systems is that they run off of two AAA batteries. The battery cover is right in the front, and the only thing I don't like about it is that it can easily fall off. Um, so what we've done with ours is actually use gaffer's tape to secure the bottom part so that when we switch out batteries, we can easily replace the cover and you know the potential of losing it is very minimal. There's a couple of different ways you can use a transmitter. We shoot Nikon, so one way is using your flash and putting the transmitter right on top of the flash and setting your flash to master commander mode. But we, what we actually do is use our SU-800, like so, and we just put the transmitter right in the front right here, and it works perfect. We actually secure it with gaffer's tape. So as far as the receiver units, Radio Popper actually sells mounting brackets for your receivers, but what we've found in the past is we've actually gone through several of them and they kept breaking because they're made of plastic. My husband did was he matched up the receiver and the transmitter holes with industrial strength Velcro and we actually just Velcro it right on there. Boom. So this is the receiver, um, P for power button, this is on. I'm going to go through different modes. This is the battery life channel, so you can actually choose what channel to, sh to shoot in, auto channel. So we are wedding photographers. Um, the first thing we do on location is hit this auto channel just to see um, what the best frequency is. And this one picked 11. So then we would match the channel to the transmitter. Next one is HN, which is, this is for Nikon. You could also switch it to Canon. L is for the LED, LED light. Um, if you want to save battery life, you could put it to L1. It's just the brightness. F is for feedback. Um, that just means that it'll blink once the um, transmitter talks to the receiver. RE means reset. So you just have to hold the X button for five seconds to reset the whole unit. For the transmitter, um, well, before I start talking about it, um, we actually learned that when you put the batteries in, um, as soon as you put the batteries in, it actually starts to drain. So as wedding photographers, we actually you know, prepare our gear the night before, um, and we put the batteries in, and it actually started draining overnight. So by the time we actually used it the following day, the batteries were all done. So that's just my tip for, for you guys. Um, if you guys do wanna load up the um, transmitter the day before your shoot and prepare, um, what we do is flip the batteries um, so that it's not draining and right before using, we, we flip it back. Um, so just a little tip. Basically you turn on the unit the same way it also has a battery level channel. Again, HN is for Nikon. L is for the LED level. F is for feedback. Again, you could reset the system as well. G means you could shoot with multiple flash groupings where you can use the Radio Popper Nano system and the Radio Popper JRX system. The Radio Popper PX system has been very reliable for us as wedding photographers. We've been using it for several years now. 
The reason why I like it is because it allows me to shoot in TTL high speed sync mode and also manual high speed sync mode. So as wedding photographers, um, I love the Radio Popper PX system in conjunction with our Nikon SU800. The Nikon SU800 allows me to adjust my settings to right on camera versus having to walk all the way to my flash and actually adjust it there. Thank you guys for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed our review on the Radio Popper PX system. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Shutter Test like below. We have all the links for the products at the bottom as well. And please let me know if you have any questions. So one question I have for you is, does anyone out there have a double? <laughs>